The USA women's basketball team narrowly clinched victory in a game full of tension at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Diana Taurasi claimed her sixth medal, cementing her status as the most decorated women's basketball player in history. Was this by luck? Taurasi's performance in these Olympics fell short, fueling speculation about a possible injury. Regardless of the cause, her performance did not meet her usual high standards, and that's undeniable. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the coaching. Oh my god, what a disaster. The team, supposedly the best in the world, barely won by a single point. The USA needed significant contributions from stars like Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and Ari K. Ogunbowale, but their performance was lackluster, with France applying relentless pressure. The game was tied at halftime, prompting even WNBA legend Lisa Leslie to speak out about this debacle. Throughout the match, the USA team left fans worried and disappointed. The Olympic gold medal game on Sunday began disastrously, with 13 turnovers and numerous other critical errors against the French team. The U.S. shot a mere 29% from the field and was lucky to be tied at 25 heading into halftime. The game remained tight, and it wasn't until the fourth quarter that the U.S. managed to pull ahead, largely due to Asia Wilson's outstanding efforts. Her performance was pivotal, practically securing the win single-handedly. At halftime, Lisa Leslie expressed her shock at the unfolding events, as it was clear the game was slipping away from Team USA. Every time they scored, France responded in kind. It was an unprecedented situation, and I genuinely feared they might lose. Coach Cheryl Reeve is now facing intense backlash for her controversial coaching decisions, particularly regarding Sabrina Ionescu's limited playing time. Many fans believe Ionescu should have been on the court more, especially when the team was struggling. Meanwhile, Gabby Williams, playing for France, dominated the game. Fans questioned her eligibility to play for France despite residing in the U.S. It turns out Williams is eligible due to her French mother and has been playing overseas full-time since 2022. Williams was unstoppable, and the U.S. had no effective response to her. The game was a disaster for Team USA, and the fact they won by just one point is disgraceful. Diana Taurasi, despite her historic sixth medal, is facing online mockery for her lackluster performance. A meme circulating online even pokes fun at her minimal impact during the game. Now, let's discuss Caitlin Clark. Anyone questioning her inclusion on this team is out of their minds. Clark's presence could have turned this close contest into an easy victory. Instead, we're left with a one-point win that the media is attempting to tout as historic. This game was an embarrassment to our country, the WNBA, and the players' careers. We'll be discussing this for years. Thank goodness for Asia Wilson because, without her, we would have lost that game. In the wake of this chaotic game, the USA women's basketball team faces significant scrutiny as they look ahead to the Paris Olympics. Lessons learned from this near defeat will be crucial in refining strategies and ensuring such a debacle is not repeated. The resilience shown by the team in clinching victory highlights their potential, but there's no denying that changes are needed to maintain their status as the world's best.